Kebahug has brought out a paper that looks at making spasticity treatment guidelines for primary care physicians with patients in spinal cord injury. So basically what they're saying is people get a spinal cord injury, they get their neurosurgical interventions, they get rehabilitation with a physiatrist and therapist, and they go home but they're not dead, they're still alive, and they still have spasticity and affects their quality of life. What do you do with them? Most patients, when they have these problems, will go to a primary care doctor. So what they're doing now is they're finding ways to lope in these primary care doctors to identify spasticity so they can be referred higher up the treatment chain so this can be addressed and people can enjoy quality of life and they've made a guideline paper for them to identify and manage spasticity on their level and then refer out as needed. The intention is good. People with spinal cord injuries are going to live until they eventually expire, and depending on how bad the lesion is, it affects their quality of life, but the spasticity can really prevent them from doing things, or even just having, being happy. So, looping in primary care doctors setting up a referral chain is a really good thing to do.